Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D quick tip I want to show you how you can use vertex maps on generators. Now, let me first explain what a vertex map is. Basically, a vertex map allows you to store weight values on the vertices of the geometry. And this also works on generators. You can use these weights later, for example, for shading effects, to control various parameters of a cloth simulation, to emit pyro and many other things. So let me show you how this works. Here you can see that we have a text spline inside of an extrude generator. And now if I press play, you can also see that there is some cloth simulation on this object. Now let's say we want to have more control over the cloth simulation here and where it happens. So we need to create a vertex map first. So let me go to the extrude and right click it. Then we go to other tags, vertex map. And now you can see that this tag has been created and once we click it, you can see that we have this field list here. One thing you have to know when you work with vertex maps on generators is that you can only use field-based vertex maps because also the creation of the weights has to be made in a procedural way. So let's create a linear field here and now you can already see that although this is a generator, we have this linear transition from the left to the right and we can make the weights appear or disappear. Everything that is red is not weighted, everything that is yellow is 100% weighted and all of the shades of orange in between are values between 0 and 100% weight. Now, how can we use this? First of all, I usually rename my vertex maps because vertex map workflows in Cinema 4D are name based. So let's just call this one. And then let's say we want to control a parameter here in the cloth. Let's say we want to go to mix animation and we want to control the width force. So let me bring this up to let's say five and let's play back the animation. So now you can see that the text is still in place and let me now drag and drop that vertex map into the map input field here and press play again and now you can see that just one side is falling down and when I now move this linear field to the left and to the right you can see that we can control this effect we can make the text collapse and we can also make it reappear and the good thing here is that as i said it's all procedural so if we want to adjust the text we can go in here and just type in yeah instead and now you can see that this text is collapsing and we can also control that totally. All right, now if you were wondering why I have a deactivated spline in here, that's because I wanted to show you that this spline is also dynamic and you can use the same workflow on splines as well. So let's just right click the spline and let's go to other tags and vertex map. And now you can see that all of the points are red, so they are not weighted. And we can go to the vertex map, tick use fields, get rid of the freeze layer and drag and drop the linear field in here as well and now you can see that the vertex weights coming from the linear field are also working on that spline and now we select the rope tag go to mix animation and use the same workflow with dragging and dropping to bring this vertex map in here and now if we press play you can see that also half of the spline is falling down thanks for watching if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment and subscribe